The high today in Baton Rouge was 75, the low tonight 56. The wind is actually gusting up to 25 miles an hour and pretty steady at 15. She's off to a very good start. 20 base hits already, five home runs and three doubles. Got some pop. Indeed. That's chopped, and it's a fair ball inside the line. Briggs makes the big turn and now hustles back to first base. Four home runs for this young lady. She's worked very hard at her trade. And there's Briggs off on. She goes sliding in under the tag to get into scoring position, and the 3-0. Upstairs, a four-pitch pass. The inning continues. That is slammed the other way and caught at third base for the out. Pitchers, the hitters, the fielders. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number three. Tournament play, postseason, the College World Series. So why wouldn't you stick with that ball? But that tournament might have gotten... Cottle delivers. Ruderty sends it high in the air, deep to left field. Left fielder backing up, leaps, can't get it. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. For the second time this year, Mackenzie Ruderty blasts one out of the ballpark, and the Tigers lead 1-0 on an opposite field home run by Ruderty. Oh, she hit it good. Once it got up in that airstream, it was gone. I started waving at it. She kind of puts it in the second area of the Terrace out there. That's only the 11th home run she's had in her career. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Time oh. is called. Yep. Was there a she's, clock violation? There was. He's so that's ball four. Again, the 1-2 pitch. Chopped up the middle. The second baseman cannot get it. That looked like it was going to be gathered by Bumcrot, and that's going to be a base hit. Smacked up the middle, that's in for a base hit. The Play throw goes to third, out at third base. Let's see if the run counts. Yes, it, it does. It should. The umpires have reviewed that last play to see if the run actually crossed the plate before the tag was made at third base. We're gonna get a ruling right now. So the tag was applied at third base before Petty was able to cross the plate. So take that run off the board. A Couple of home runs among her six hits. And she goes down on strikes. Burzon has now fanned five the next couple of days as well. There's another changeup. And the same result for the second, for make it the third straight inning, Burzon does not allow a base runner and strikes out a pair. It's hit high and deep. The right fielder cannot make the play. Newland rounds second. Newland rounds third and slides in there. And the wind appeared to have something to do with that. Getting close again, one second to deliver that ball. And there's ball four, a four pitch base on balls. Smash to center field, but playable. Knight is drawing a beat on it, and now nobody can get to it. It drops for a base hit, and the Tigers add to their lead. She was deep, but it appeared that she was going to grab it. Let's take another look. She's deep. Oh, she goes back. She starts she... backward, and that cost her. Well, I mean, you are supposed to take that little half step back because you don't want to get beat over your head. By Carson. And that is scooted on the ground like a gyroscope, picked up by the second baseman. Bumcrot makes the play, and the inning is over. Probably just grew up not wearing them. That looked like an off-speed pitch. Just what you'd think they'd say. Grove swings and misses, and Burzon has now struck out two in each of the first four innings, third to first last time. There's that off-speed pitch, and Flores literally swung herself off her feet. Two balls, two strikes on Farmer. Burzon working quickly. Swing and a miss. She is pulling that change up out of her back pocket. The 3-2 pitch. Oh, first base runner. It is a full count base on balls to McAnally. 3-2 pitch, chopped toward Gutierrez. It takes a hop into her midsection. She smothers it, she gets to first base, and the side is retired, which matches her career best. The pitch, chopped up the middle. It's gonna be a tough play. Safe at first base, and if this stands, it's the first base hit of the game. 
Here's the one, two. Hit sharply up the middle. That's through for a base hit. Back-to-back -back hits as Sophia Knight down in the count still managed to shove it up the middle for a base hit. And now the tying run is at first base with one out. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout. Yes, it is. Hannah, the pinch hitter, stands in the way. The pitch grounded toward Coffee. Can't make the pickup. And the bases are loaded. Coffee went to her left, and the ball trickled out of the pocket of her glove. Your shoulders with the bases loaded. The 3-2 pitch lined hey. into center field. That's a base hit. And the throw goes to third, and here comes Boise State. A soft liner to center field got down between Pleasance and Briggs. And a two-run uprising in the sixth has tied this game. Kudos to Boise State taking two pinch hitters off the bench. And they have come through. A 2-2 ball game, though 3-1 pitch. Dribbled toward Pleasance. She's got it. Fires it over, and Gutierrez stretches and makes the play. The 2-2 pitch. Lined into center field. That is oh, down, and it's going to roll go. a while. Coffee here steaming around second. Here Coffee coming to third. Coffee sliding. Coffee safe with a triple. Her first of the year. Off to the races. Go ahead, run at third base. Two outs. A little flare. Caught on the run and foul ground by the shortstop behind third base. Burzon did not allow a base runner Ooh. until a two-out walk. After I just got finished saying all that, she nails the hitter. Swing and a miss. Bumcrot strikes out for the second time. That's a dozen of them for Burzon. Ground ball to the left of the shortstop. Back and to another back. one. Back to back. Strikeout number 13 for Burzon. The Broncos are hitting in the eighth with two outs and nobody on base. The pitch chopped to the left side. Coffee's going to have to hurry. She does. Out at first base. Coffee unleashes with limited at bats. Bergeron pops it up. Right field. Right fielder is there among the second baseman and the shortstop as well. I'm thinking Beth Tarina's going to let her finish. Oh, that ball hit the line. It's a fair ball, and Flores is on her way to second base. She slides with a double, and she is in scoring position, and she is excited. I was going to say, I hope you say she is excited. Boise State. Let's see if she bunts. She does. Tried Gutierrez it. has it. She's got that opportunity now. Popped up, left side. Coffee may have room. She does. Two outs. Chokes up ever so slightly, and the pitch popped up. It'll carry out to center field. Briggs is calling for it as she drifts to her right. She's got it. And Sidney Burzon, after surrendering a double to open the inning, gets the next three in short order. This is a different batting stance for, for Briggs. That's nubbed off the end of the bat. The shortstop's got it, fires it over. Briggs is retired. And Abby Dowell continues to shut down the LSU bats. Jasper, mm. who we mentioned earlier, now the, Stop it. the Stop pitching it. coach. <laughs> Don't even say those innings. Well, she went 19 innings against Ole Miss. We did that game a bit. We, she yes, faced 68 did. batters. There's one slash to the opposite side through the hole for Knight. That's her second base hit. She's showing why she's the, the leading hitter. So I'd rather have my cuts here and see what happens. Two outs, one, two pitch. Lofted into shallow center field. Briggs on the run. She gets there, and we move on. And right now, lead by 10, 40 to 30. Goodbye. Let's see if this is a game winner. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. A rising line drive over the center field wall. It's a walk-off for Taylor Pleasance, and the Tigers prevail in 10 innings as Taylor Pleasance smashes one over the center field wall. Can't keep her quiet all night long. If you were going to have anybody that would step up and do it, Taylor Pleasance, it was a no doubter off of the bat. It is her third home run of the season. It is her 18th RBI. And Taylor Pleasance with her first base hit of the game after three fly ball outs and a ground out 
wins it in walk-off fashion in the bottom of the 10th inning.